Cloud Bigtable is a NoSQL database that has the scale, speed, and reliability necessary to handle big data workloads. In previous episodes, we learned about some of Bigtable's key features as well as its data model. We also took a look at how Bigtable is being used in a diverse group of industries like retail, transportation, and fraud detection. In this episode, we're going to learn more about how Bigtable can be used for a key use case, personalization. Across industries, data is helping businesses elevate the customer experience to new heights. One particular area where data is helping is personalization, delivering a tailored experience to each customer based on their own unique needs and preferences. Personalization is all around us. If you're an online shopper, you might notice the product recommendations that pop up based on your purchase history. If you use a video streaming service, you'll probably get recommendations for new movies and TV shows based on what you've watched in the past. And if you like music, your digital music service probably uses personalization to help you discover new songs and playlists. Data is at the heart of personalization, but this presents unique challenges to businesses trying to harness it. Luckily, Bigtable is great for supporting personalization at scale because of its unique combination of scale, speed, and reliability. Personalization requires businesses to store and access large volumes of data. Bigtable is a highly scalable database, allowing you to store up to petabytes of data. In fact, Bigtable supports trillions of rows with millions of columns, and each row in Bigtable supports up to 256 megabytes of data, so you can easily store all personalization data for an individual customer in a single row. Bigtable databases can be scaled linearly at zero downtime by adding or removing nodes, each of which provides up to 10,000 additional queries per second and is attached to additional storage capacity. Personalization also requires a database that can quickly write large volumes of data concurrently for many users, since customer behavior needs to be continually captured to inform future recommendations. Bigtable meets this challenge with the ability to handle millions of read and write requests per second. And it's able to do so at low latency, on the order of single digit milliseconds. This is critical for personalization, since you wouldn't want users to have to wait around for personalized recommendations. Bigtable's flexible NoSQL data model also works well for personalization. Traditional relational databases assume a fixed schema that will change infrequently over time. But NoSQL databases relax the rigidity of the schema and allow for data structures to evolve much more easily over time. Another important aspect of the Bigtable data model is that its tables are sparse, meaning that if a column is not filled in for a given row, you don't pay for that empty cell. In an e-commerce example, you might have a row for each customer and a column for each product that they may have engaged with. With Bigtable's NoSQL data model, it's easy to add new columns to the table as new products are introduced. And if a customer hasn't engaged with a given product, that cell will be empty and you don't end up paying for its space because Bigtable tables are sparse. Of course, storing customer information is only one step to performing personalization at scale. The next step is finding ways to make that data useful using machine learning and big data analysis tools. Bigtable has you covered with easy integration with Google tools like BigQuery, TensorFlow, Dataproc, and Dataflow, as well as Apache tools like HBase, Hadoop, Beam, and Spark. We've covered just a few of the key reasons why Bigtable is great for personalization, but other reasons include low total cost of ownership, or TCO, for high throughput workloads, consistent performance around the world because of data replication across Google data centers internationally, and business critical reliability with up to 99.999% availability SLA. Let's take a look at an example of how Bigtable tables could be used for an e-commerce website looking to recommend products to users based on their viewing and purchase history. First, we might have a user history table. This table stores information about user sessions, including which products they viewed, added to their cart, and purchased. Next, we could have a user personalization table. This table stores recommended products for each user, which would be generated dynamically over time using machine learning. It can also store users' own stated preferences from a wish list of saved items. And finally, we might have a product recommendation table. This would provide product recommendations based on an original product. For example, if a customer bought a blue t-shirt, we might recommend them other types of blue t-shirts. So there you have it, an overview of how Bigtable's speed, scalability, and reliability makes it great for personalization use cases. If you're curious to learn more, follow the links below for more information.
Thanks for joining us today and stay tuned for more episodes about Big Table.